Their criminal case against a teen accused of stabbing and killing his St. John's County schoolmate seems to be getting stronger. A newly released document from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is adding new details against Aiden Fucci. Fucci is accused of killing his schoolmate Tristan Bailey last year. Bailey's body was found on Mother's Day with more than 100 stab wounds across her body. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson has been going through the lab report from FDLE and he's joining us now live from the Duval County Jail where Fucci is being held. Scott, that lab report focuses yeah, on the knife recovered near the crime scene. That's right, Ken. Uh, Fucci has been locked up here a while. This has been something that's been going on more than a year. And this is a real crystal part of evidence that links possibly the murder weapon to Tristan Bailey's body. The brief two-page report shows a critical piece of evidence in the case against accused killer Aiden Fucci. It involves the knife that News for Jack's cameras saw investigators recover from a pond shortly after Tristan Bailey's body was found. Read this excerpt. It concerns that knife and something found embedded in Tristan's scalp. It is therefore concluded that the item 20 knife blade tip recovered from the victim's scalp and the item 19 buck knife were at one time a single item. Some rust or something like that, but I mean the important parts of the knife, maybe the name, serial number, model number, those could likely still be on it. I sat down with Belkis Plata, a local criminal defense lawyer not affiliated with the case. She says the fact that the knife appears to have been in the lake only a short amount of time means forensics will likely not have much trouble tying it to Fucci. What's a defense lawyer doing with this piece of information now that it's being submitted? Um, so now you're trying to find out, you know, how can they possibly tie this to my client? Where did this knife come from? Who's purchased it? Where do they sell it? Trying to kind of go backwards to, to piece it together. This is another development in the highly publicized murder case that most people in St. John's County already know about, which is one reason why Plata suspects defense attorneys could push for a change of venue in the trial, and they may be successful. You mentioned change of venue. Do you think that could feasibly come up in this case? Certainly. Um, I saw the survey that the... Uh, defense attorneys sent out, you know, trying to find out who in their community kind of knows about this. And I think everyone knows about it. And when the state keeps releasing information or public records or requests are made and then um, distributed, that's going to affect a potential jury pool. And with this new detail, with the attempt to interview all the witnesses, defense lawyers have been trying to push this trial as much as they can back. And right now they've pushed it back till at least next February. We're live downtown outside the jail. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.